So, I've been playing The Sims 4 for a little bit over a year now, but I've recently come across this channel that does different challenges in the first installment. I've always loved the music and the style of this game, so I figured, hey, might as well give it a chance. I quickly ran to my Hot Wheels PC and I scoured the internet for a challenge that I felt would suit me. After almost a full second of research, I found a Reddit thread with a message that almost scared me straight back to playing Wii games. Survival is the challenge. Okay. Well, actually, the first challenge is to get this damn game to run. First, we have to create a sim. Let's go with the nail family. First name, Finger. All right, we'll speed up the fine details here. And there we have him. Oh, can't forget to write his lore. Oh, and he already has a diagnosis. And we're in. Welcome to the fingernail residence. All right, gotta break in the new house first. You know how it goes. And would you look at that, my first guess is none other than Mortimer Goth, but not exactly as I remember him. Oh, looks like he's got something to say to me. <laughs> what kind of sick game is this? Mortimer, you need some serious help, buddy. And I think your wife is trying to fight a cat? Oh god. I gotta get away from this nut job. Is he following me? Oh god, he's actually following me. Alright, he can't get me out here. And this actually seems like a pretty good time to find a job. This is what The Sims is all about. It's time to upgrade Finger's crib now that he's gonna have some cash coming in. What the frick? This is the life, baby. Watching my new TV on the inflatable couch and there's Mortimer again, son of a bitch. What is he doing? Is he shitting fully clothed? Goodbye. It's finally here. Finger's first day of work. Okay, second day of work. You need to leave no freeloaders here, bub. Time to buy a phone and hit the town. Here we go, Finger's first friend. Brad. Oh. My. God. That is the most beautiful woman Finger has ever seen. Let's have him make his move. Goodbye Brad and hello Claire. They pretty much instantly hit it off and I think she's probably the one for Finger. As she walked away though, Finger realized that he blew it. He should have proposed the moment he met her. And it's back to work. Oh shit, we won the lottery! It's not a lot of money, so it's back to the grind as usual. I think it's time we made some progress with Claire and, uh, another successful day at work until we came home into this. Now should be a good time to call the love of his life and invite her over. What? It's alright, man. Let's give it one more shot. Maybe she just thought it was someone else. Oh my god. At this point, it's becoming clear that things just aren't working out for Finger, and I'm beginning to feel like maybe it's what he deserves. This asshole had the nerve of falling asleep while standing up in the middle of repairing his dishwasher. Even his friends didn't care for him and his late night calls. Alright man, take it easy. Finger's life is becoming a cycle of going to work and then coming home to his shitty house. Even his tiny brain was able to comprehend the spiral his life was going into. He tried patching things up with Brad, but who could even stand this goober? He was becoming the very nut job he once feared. And then the loneliness started eating away at him. He would look up at the sky and scream at his creator, resenting him for the suffering he was putting him through. Finger was becoming desperate. I could tell he no longer wanted to spend his days alone. He made an advance on the only person he know would even hear him. Unfortunately, Brad did not feel the same. The cries for help continued. It seemed like life for Finger couldn't get any worse. Look at him standing in his piss, screaming at me. Claire still didn't like him, and he would yell to me as if I was the problem. I've done nothing but try to help this freak. I figured we could work on the house a little bit and throw a party, but Finger is such a needy baby. I don't think his social need ever went past the halfway point, no matter how much I would have him interact with people. He would ask them the same questions over and over, so I tried to increase his charisma. In typical Finger fashion, he was a little bitch about that too. I started to realize that the challenge of survival wasn't about your sim, it was about you. Maybe improving his shitty crib and adding this cool hill will help. Maybe now he could feel like the king of the hill. 
Let's try his luck out and call some old hag he met. And of course. The next day, he just stood in front of his carpool waiting for them to put him out of his misery. I was honestly getting the urge to just do it myself by this point, but I still had hope for Finger. Slowly, it seemed like things were turning around. Finger got himself a nice bonus and decided to celebrate with the new stereo and some music. Are you kidding me? Here we are again, back in Old Town. Let's try to get his social need up a little bit. Of course, all he wants to do is complain though. Then he fell asleep right when he got out of the cab. More crying. You know what, let's try things out with Claire one more time. Alright, let's work on that social need and she left. This is your fault. You're the one who only complains and cries like a little bitch every day. Oh my god, is he okay? I'm gonna try to improve things around here and get him a better job. Alright, on to some Fortnite then. Let's try fixing things up once again. Never mind. The people behind this game are incredibly sick in the head. Speaking of sick in the head, I was almost excited to see a fire start. Partly because it was something to break up the routine, and also because I was slightly hoping that Finger may accidentally be engulfed in the flames. Are you really complaining right now? Thank you, sir. This is it, man. I don't think I could take it anymore. This is your last meal. Oh my god. Can he hear me? Look at that stare. You know what? I still have a little bit of hope. I'm gonna try to turn things around, but his knees will not move. God damn! Oh shit, there's Claire. Come on, fingernail. This is your last chance to turn things around. Just go in for it. Make that small talk. I believe in you. Bro, stop. You're gonna scare her away. No! Oh my god, that's it. Another sleepless night. I think the hunger might be getting to him. You know, it's in his hands to save himself. He has the free will box checked. I've seen him make his own food. Maybe this phone call can turn things around. Maybe it's Claire admitting her love for Finger. Damn, it's just more money. Which has been dwindling even though Finger has gone to work pretty much every day. Here he goes again, falling asleep on the floor somewhere. Oh shit. Come on, man. Do something. Get him, Finger. We can't afford this, dude. Aw, oh, man. I guess he just prefers the floor. He did it! He ordered food! But look at this place, dude. I still refuse to give up. I can turn Finger's life around. Let's give this relationship with Claire one more shot. <gasps> this is it. A new chapter in Finger's life. I'm gonna clean this place up and turn things around. There's Claire. Let's get this relationship started. Wait, no! Fingernail, you've done it again. Your screaming at the sky scared her off. She can't stand you. No one can. I think I can hear the bells. You need to make a change before it's too late. <gasps> oh my god. He's dead. I can't really say I'm sad to see him go. He lived a miserable life. Never satisfied, never loved, and never remembered. Rest in peace, Finger now. And thanks for watching.